Hello, besties. It's off. I'm Steve. Um, as I said, um, I'm accepting topic requests from my besties, from my alpha maniacs. And uh, someone had asked me about my thoughts on bodybuilding legends. And I did a part one entirely on Arnold Schwarzenegger. Today I'm going to do a part two, but I'm not going to do it on specific bodybuilders per se, but on specific gyms. Now, the gym that I started out at, well, actually, I didn't start there, but I, and I, I was there within months of my initial joining. Turns out the gym was in my hometown, much closer than the one I enrolled in. And uh, it was Bev Francis's Gold's Gym. Now, you might actually know this gym because if you like bodybuilding, if you watch any documentaries about any professional bodybuilder, either a few scenes will take place in that gym, or you'll see them wearing the Gold's Gym Syosset New York shirt. Uh, by the way, it has since changed to a powerhouse, long after I left, but so now on the the more updated documentaries, it says Bev Francis is powerhouse as opposed to Gold's Gym. Um, or if you watch bodybuilding documentaries, one of the co-owners, Bev Francis's husband, Steve, is the head IFBB judge, the International Federation of Bodybuilders, the most important bodybuilding organization in the world. He's the head judge. And a lot of people consult him a lot of bodybuilders before they decide whether they're going to enter an event or not. So he plays a big role in these documentaries. And um, it's been, it's called the, the Mecca of the East Coast. And rightfully so. When I was training there one day, all of a sudden the music cut off and it changed to a much heavier hard metal music. And in comes reigning Mr. Olympia, Dorian Yates. And um, they changed the music for his own personal mixtape. And um, he was stopping by on his way to California. So he stopped in New York, got a workout in at Bev Francis's gym. Not many gyms in the United States can say that Dorian Yates trained there. So that, that shows you the respect that this gym had. Um, also, I had seen, I never spoke to him, I'm not going to lie to you, but... On more than one occasion, I've seen Kevin Laroni there. Now, Kevin Laroni, during that same Dorian Yates era, came in second place to Dorian almost every time. It was either Flex Wheeler or Kevin Laroni. And he lived in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, just outside Baltimore. And that was a four-hour ride to that gym, and I had seen him there multiple times. So that's how important that gym was to him. I'm not going to say he was a regular there. But once a month or so, you would definitely see him there. So, um, interesting. And I saw Nicole Bass there quite frequently. Um, I saw Taz from ECW before ECW really exploded. He trained there. Um, and again, just about any bodybuilding documentary that you watch, you will see Bev Francis's Powerhouse Gym, or if it's an older one, Bev Francis's... Gold's Gym. Bev Francis herself was a runner-up to Miss Olympia. She was featured in the movie Pumping Iron 2, which I can't find anywhere. Um, it was the female version of Pumping Iron. Um, and she she got a lot of criticism for it because she had such a hardcore look that um, a lot of people rejected women's bodybuilding because there wasn't enough femininity in there. So... Um, she was definitely a pioneer before her time. And every now and then you see her at 60 plus years old uh, making a lift on social media. So um, that's the, the first gym in my life, the first important gym. Next episode, I'll talk about Gold's Gym Venice Beach, the most famous gym in the world.